So, the new mobster has just released in Tower Defense X, and as I predicted in my prediction video, it is around the level of the Armored Factory. But, how do you use this new tower effectively? Should you actually buy it? Well, let's find out. The lower levels are really cheap and cost efficient, even only being $400 to place down, and the higher upgrades are also pretty cheap, so you usually want to use this tower in the early to mid game, but also late game, which we will get to later. In terms of damage, you probably are going to want to go for the top path, it does more damage and is a lot cheaper, so if you are using the mobster for a source of damage and being a spawner, then use the top path. Speaking of which, this is a spawner tower, so keep in mind that the mobster has a placement limit of 9 in solo, and uh, I'm not sure how much in other player accounts, but you probably get the idea, you can't just spam infinite amounts of them. Anyways, the top path has a super useful ability here called AP Rounds, which lets it ignore all resistances for 10 seconds. And this could be super useful for bullet resistance stuff in game modes like Expert, so make sure to use that whenever you need to as well. Just keep in mind that you can't use this until 4-2, so it's a little bit expensive. Now, once the early game the mid game is all dealt with, and you're starting to get other units, this is where the bottom path is going to shine. The bottom path can place bounties on enemies, and when that enemy dies, the enemy will give cash ranging from 20% to 40% of its max HP, which can be super useful if you put it on a predator or eradicator or something, and it ranges from a max of 8,000 cash per ability, all the way to 100,000! 100 freaking thousand! So, due to that huge amount of cash you can get from bounties, this is likely going to be really meta in endless mode, allowing players to get tons more cash, even from no cash enemies. Well, I think it can get bounties off of no cash enemies at least, correct me if I'm wrong. But, remember, it doesn't stop there. The bottom path mobster also gives a percentage of your money back if a tower dies within its range. So, oh, did Eradicator Mark I see just wipe all of your golden juggernauts off the map? Or did you forget to sell them when Apex Predator died? No worries. Mobster can give you some of your money back for your mistakes. The bounty is still probably more useful though in this. I don't know if the cash back thing is really going to help that much. So, basically, top path should see some usage in base game modes, and bottom path will see some usage in endless, and maybe some other game modes as a support, but I'm not sure if that seems too viable. If you were asking me personally where this tower will realistically find usage, I'd say that it will probably replace farms in endless mode, and maybe some absurd strats could be made off of the top path, but other than that, not much else in my opinion. I'd rank it a B tier tower. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out guys. Have a good day.